If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything. I want to fall forward. I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. Nothing. Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. Now, I'm sure in your experiences in school and applying to college and picking your major and deciding what you want to do with life, I'm sure people have told you to make sure you have something to fall back on. Make sure you got something to fall back on, honey. But I never understood that concept, having something to fall back on. Fall forward, this is what I mean. Reggie Jackson struck out 2,600 times in his career, the most in the history of baseball. Ball. But you don't hear about the strikeouts. People remember the home runs. Fall forward. Put God first. Put God first in everything you do. Everything that you think you see in me, everything that I've accomplished, everything that you think I have, and I have a few things. Everything that I have is by the grace of God. Understand that. It's a gift. 40 years ago, March 27th, 1975, it was 40 years ago, uh, just this past March, I was flunking out of college. I had a 1.7 grade point average. I was sitting in my mother's beauty shop. I was sitting in my mother's beauty parlor and I'm looking in the mirror and I see behind me this woman under the dryer and every time she looked up, she, every time I looked up, she was looking at me, just looking me in the eye. And I didn't know who she was and I said, you know, she said, somebody give me a pen, give me a pencil. I have a prophecy. March 27, 1975, she said, boy, you are gonna travel the world and speak to millions of people. Now mind you, I was flunked out of college. I'm thinking about joining the army. I didn't know what I was gonna do and she's telling me I'm gonna travel the world and speak to millions of people. Well, I have traveled the world and I have spoke to millions of people. But that's not the most important thing, the success that I had. The most important thing is that what she taught me and what she told me that day has stayed with me since. I've been protected, I've been directed, I've been corrected. I've kept God in my life and has kept me humble. I didn't always stick with him, but he always stuck with me. So stick with him in everything you do. If you think you wanna do what you think I've done, then do what I've done and stick with God. Fail big. That's right. Fail big. Don't be afraid to fail. There's an old IQ test was nine dots and you had to draw five lines with a pencil within these nine dots without lifting the pencil. The only way to do it was to go outside the box. So don't be afraid to go outside the box. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. So do what you feel passionate about, passionate about. Take chances professionally. Every failed experiment is one step closer to success. You've got to take risks, and I'm sure you've probably heard that before, but I want to talk to you about why that's so important. I got three reasons. First, you will fail at some point in your life. Accept it. You will lose. You will embarrass yourself. You will suck at something. And I should know. In the acting business, you fail all the time. Early on in my career, I auditioned for a part in a Broadway musical. Perfect role for me, I thought, except for the fact that I can't sing. I didn't get the job. But here's the thing. I didn't quit. I didn't fall back. I walked out of there to prepare for the next audition, and the next audition, and the next audition. I prayed. I prayed, and I prayed. But I continued to fail, and fail. But it didn't matter, because you know what? There's an old saying. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. I'll say it again. If you don't fail, Fail, you're not even trying. My wife told me this great expression. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Because remember this. So you got to get out there. You got to give it everything you got, whether it's your time, your talent, your prayers, or your treasures. Because remember this. You will never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. You can't take it with you. What are you going to do with what you have? I'm not talking about how much you have. Some of you are business majors. Some of you are theologians, nurses, sociologists. Some of you have money. Some of you have patience. Some of you have kindness. Some of you have love. Some of you have the gift of long suffering. Whatever it is, whatever your gift is, what are you going to do with what you have? But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams and they ultimately fuel disappointment. So have dreams, but have goals. Life goals, yearly goals, monthly goals, daily goals. I try to give myself a goal every day. Dreams without goals are just dreams. Come on. And ultimately, they fuel disappointment. Exactly. On the road to achieving your dreams, you <laughs> must apply discipline, discipline? Come but on. more importantly, consistency, consistency. Because without commitment, you'll never start. But without consistency, you'll, you'll never, never finish. finish. You have to work at it every day. You have to plan every day. You've heard the saying, we don't plan to fail, we fail to plan. Hard work 
works. Working really hard is what successful people do. Remember, just because you're doing a lot more doesn't mean you're getting a lot more done. So continue to strive, continue to have goals, continue to progress. The most selfish thing you can do in this world is help someone else. Why is it selfish? Because gratification, the goodness that comes to you, the good feeling, the good feeling that I get from helping others, nothing's better than that. Not jewelry, not big house I have, not the cars, but the, the, it's the joy. That's where the joy is in helping others. That's where the success is in helping others. I pray that you put your slippers way under the bed tonight so that when you wake up in the morning, you have to get on your knees to reach them. And when, you, when while you're down there, say thank you for grace. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for parent. Thank you for love. Thank you for kindness. Thank you for humility. Thank you for peace. Thank you for prosperity. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. As I said, I'm a positive person. I think that uh, you have to take what you're given and, and and do something with it. You know, the easiest thing to do is complain about it and give in to that. But uh, I try to turn that into something positive, and so far it's worked for me. That desire, that itch, that's God's proof to you, sent beforehand already to indicate that it's yours. And anything you want good, you can have. So claim it. Work hard to get it. When you get it, reach back. Pull someone else up. Each one, teach one. You'll see what I mean about taking risk or being willing to fail. Because taking risk is not just about going for a job. It's also about knowing what you know and what you don't know. It's about being open to people and to ideas. Because the chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. The least we can do is consider what we've done and think about the young people, the future, and individually, collectively do the best we can to try and turn this thing around. I blame no one. I look in the mirror. On the other side of it, what an opportunity we have because tomorrow's the first day of the rest of our lives. So what an opportunity we have to practice. I hope that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart are pleasing in God's sight, but I'm human. I'm just like you. What I have will not keep me on this earth for one more day. I never looked at things as problems. I look at them as opportunity. Maybe look, maybe that's something I can say. You know, someone, ah, well, she did this, and I well, what an opportunity you have yeah. to make a difference. Because you never know who's watching. These are all things I learned from you. So the joy that or pain or whatever I've given to people through the films that I've done don't make me any better. Leave room to learn. So keep working, keep striving, never give up, fall down seven times, get up eight. Ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. So keep moving, keep growing, keep learning, see you at work. Remember this, fall forward.